I come back, I promise. I'm gonna make it up to you. I'm gonna make it up to you. you say leave your panties at home, fam. She told it to go okay. Now tell me what type of guy I'm supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? What type of guy I'm supposed to be? We still going through this bullshit, fam. That is all I'm saying, fam. You gonna constantly be a hoe? Just leave me alone, bro. But my relationship, see, it come with a lot of stand down motherfucking rules, bro. Like all that, if you gonna love me, love me, bro. Real talk, all that. Tie me down and don't want to see me with nobody, but you want to do what you had. You, yeah, you going to cuss and get your ass handled, bro. Read the talk, bro. You want to be able to hey, no, bro. That's all I'm saying, say. Read the talk, like. That's all I'm saying, bro. If you, bro, if you want to run around and do that, just leave me alone. What's so hard about that? We get into it, you play like you want to leave me alone, you do that. And then what you say, I wouldn't want to be with you, hey, I'm... I say I wanna be with you too. Woo, 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 woo. Here we go. Back doing shit like this. If you gonna stand on that fam, stand on that and leave me alone, bro. Who cares? Cause I'm steady texting you. I love you, man. Who cares? Stand on that fam. You know what you wanna live for and do. You know you wanna wake up and and text this, text that nigga. Then do that and leave me alone, bro. Real talk, bro. Cause I'm about to the point, bro. I'm gonna hurt you, bro. Like real talk. Like say I'm gonna hurt you, bro. Real talk. I don't give a damn who rocking behind you. None of that. Real talk, bro. Real talk, bro. Like nigga, feelings. Like I'm steady tired. I'm steady tell you, bro. I'm not gonna hit you no more. But then again, fam, you make do what he do, bro. If you know you been texting, doing that shit, delete the shit, fam. You a dumb criminal. Fam, you dumb. You a follower. You go, you go out there and you be a follower in Miami. Fam, what the f did you graduate for, bro? You ain't using sh the f you got this big ass head for. The f you take your hair down for to think, right? Cause your head was eating this shit, right? Huh? You sitting here crying, looking dumb and shit. Look at you. If you tired of looking like this, then just leave me alone, bro. Cause every time, fam. You do what you do, I'm a country to have your ass looking like this. Then I'm going to bring it right to Facebook. Because I'm tired of your ass steady doing this. And we ain't even proud of the Facebook yet. I'm the reason I'm doing this shit now. Because every time she get mad at me, she go to posting, I'm single. Pull up on who? Yeah, she like that. So now, she's single. Pull up on who? Look at her dumb ass. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, got yeah. Get mad. Get mad. Damn, I just ate your pussy and everything. That shit jumping too. Look at this dumb man. 100 views. Look at him. The eyes right. Sneaking and see while I'm sleeping here texting niggas and see. That shit crazy. You dang nigga in here sleep. Who I sneak and text? Fam, you went in the restroom time you had the shit. I was in the restroom, I was texting. And what I asked you when you come back? What I asked you when you came back? Exactly. Like you bro, that message said today, nigga, you said that last night you went in. This video made me sick to my stomach. I have no tolerance for, for guys, man, who think that they can discipline their women with their fists. I think that's a that's a bitch move. You know, you you're a pussy. Especially when it comes to situations that you can just walk away from. Walk away from it. His excuse for beating her up is that you say you love me, you say you wanna be with me, but then you do all this. Just leave me alone if you're gonna do all this. But at the same time, you can leave her alone. You can leave her alone. Now, I don't wanna come out here and sound all high and mighty or nothing like that because, you know, if I come home or I find out my wife is cheating on me, I'll be heated. I'll be heated because we have a son, you know what I'm saying? We, we established, we got things in our name and all types of stuff like that. But would I put my hands on her? No, I wouldn't put my hands on her. I've, I've come to terms to the situation. I'll be hurt. I'll be, I'll be down for the count for a little bit. I, I might be eating ice cream in the couch, but ass naked. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be hurt, but this video made me sick, man. When I was growing up, I had an aunt 
they used to get beat up by her husband. Now, her husband, it, it was crazy how it changed because I remember how cool the dude was. And he didn't start beating her up till like they third or fourth year of being married. And it wasn't no like she was cheating or she was doing anything crazy. Like it would be small situations. Like he'll come home from work like with my food. Why don't got no food ready? Put his hands on her. I remember like right before I came to this country, that's when she had left and this was the last time. And he beat her up so bad that both her eyes was closed shut. Both her eyes was closed shut. My question is, where is her family? You know? Where's her family? But then at the same time, you gotta realize because with my aunt, we tried to get her out the situation and she went back. So I'm pretty sure it's people that has been in her air like, yo, you need to leave. And she keep going back. And obviously she's not happy because she's cheating. Multiple times. This is like, I don't know if homie that uploaded this video might think like, yo, you know, I'm showing y'all how I discipline my chick, but this should make you look like a simp because he did say like you keep doing this which means that she has cheated multiple times and he keep taking her back i am a firm believer that if you show me who you are once i know who you are forever you know what i'm saying that i'm just i know people gonna say people can change but once you hurt me and you and you you, you put that knife in my back i can't deal with you like that no more i can't fuck with you like that no more firm believer you give people enough rope to hang themselves and then you get out the situation anybody that could put you in a, in a state of mind or a frame of mind to where you will risk your freedom which he's doing he is risking his freedom by beating her up anybody that puts you in, in in a situation or in a state of mind where you feel as though you're going to need to risk your freedom to earn your respect you need to get away from him you need to get away from him you know what I'm saying? And I learned this because I have a bad temper. And through growing up, my father and, and you know, the older guys in my, my neighborhood used to have to come save me. Like, they used to, they used to save, have to save me from myself. So now as an adult, there's no, no other adults is going to come save another adult from himself. You're a grown-ass man. You should know better. And I had to come to terms with that and learn how to deal and maneuver with people based on my temper. You know what I'm saying? And that, that includes friends and that includes relationships. You just have to learn how to maneuver with people. I hope that, you know, I hope that they're not together. I hope that homie finds help and I hope that she finds help also because maybe she has some type of personal trauma that has happened in her life that keep bringing her back to this abusive relationship but I'm gonna tell you if you're not in an abusive relationship or if you know somebody that's in them type of relationships try to save them because all all that happens is it's just gonna get worse it's gonna get worse 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 until you don't have that family member no more you don't have that friend no more because they lost their life you know what I'm saying so pay attention to the signs